open air heading south on EEG Boulevard. Divers prepare to enter the turquoise waters as we pass under the Cargill Salt Pier. The familiar palm trees of Pink Beach come up to greet us. Time to pull over. There's magic in those waters. I walk up the hill. I never get tired of seeing this. A recognizable black patch can be seen in the middle of the light blue. It's calling us. Hey guys, this is Rich. I'm in beautiful Pink Beach in Bonaire today. And this episode, we've got wrecks, we've got massive schools of fish, we got coral, and this is just in one week. We're going to shoot some of the highlights for this past week. And uh, in fact, we're going to start here on our first dive to show you the big eyed scat. If you look behind me, you might be able to see it. We have a school of big eye scad that you can identify by the black splotch on top of the water. I mean, you, no sunlight goes for this because there are so many fish. It just blacks out the bottom. And uh, we're going to take you, we're going to show you where we found a huge elkhorn coral uh, structure that you never would have looked to see. I certainly didn't. I just happened to be coming up, going into the shallows and found this great structure. We're going to show you some cool things that we found under a pier. Um, we're going to show you a uh, squirrel frilled fish that's pregnant. I've never seen one in diving over 30 years, and it was incredible. And uh, you're also going to see some reef behavior, how, how these fish actually change color. In any case, it's an action-packed uh, episode and we hope you enjoy it. So come on down to Bonaire and uh, see if you can find these places yourself. Uh, we've got maps and everything to show you where they are and it's, uh, it's a great experience. Let's go dive. This is the story of two divers who left the corporate world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is a diver's life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true, so true. That my life, that my life is a seashine. Pink Beach and Big Eye Scad are on the move. Swimming above the school you begin to appreciate its massive size. The locals call them Mas Bongos. One minute all is calm and then There are few places where you can see a school of this magnitude in only six meters of water. This great barracuda shadow parts the school as it swims overhead in search of food.
Before leaving this site, I swam over the wall and discovered a huge southern ray. It spotted me descending toward it from 50 feet above and took off with barbed tail raised in defense. My dome port probably looks like a giant eye in the sun. Heading north to Cha Cha Beach, we go to meet up with a super family of YouTube subscribers who asked us to take them to the Divi Wreck. This wreck sits at about 75 feet. As seen here, enter just south of the pier, swim to the wall, and head south. You can't miss the wreck. It does not look like much from above, but we have our big lights. Let's come in from the side and see what most miss. Color. Just under the bow, we spot both a white and a black Margate. The bow appears out of the blue in a kaleidoscope of colors. Even the rope ring appears in bright orange sponges. All in stark contrast to the interior. A swim along its port side is a real treat. A little closer and the colors become more pronounced. It sits atop some gas storage tanks with wire coral protruding from its side. A huge yellow tube sponge stretches out into the current to filter food. The starboard side is not as colorful with less growth. Some plate coral. Just north and in six to eight meters of water, my dive buddy Steve Ando commissioned his new model above this enormous Rogers anchor in the mid 19th century. That's it, arch your back. This anchor is a beauty. Time to jump over to Klein Bonaire and quickly check for schools of fish on the drop off at Hands Off. A beautiful patch of yellow finger coral. Great Barracuda. I need to find a ledge that juts out in the current between two sand channels. There I should find some fish schooling by. There's one. Let's go down and wait for the fish. Here they come, Creole Rass. A few bogus have joined the school. They are behind me too. Let's head over to Barry Reef and see two great finds most overlook as people typically head to the wall. Park in the dirt area and enter here. It is a nice sandy entrance. We'll focus on this amazing Elkhorn coral and what's under the pier. By accident we came up and poked in the shallows and found this giant Elkhorn structure. Most would never think to look here in only a couple meters of water. You must remember that Elkhorn like shallow water and surge, which you do have here. 
However, this close to where humans live, now that's a special find. Elkhorn branches are protection for small fish like this black margate, chub, and brown chromis. A look above and this elkhorn is teeming with life. Here we have smallmouth and French grunts. We arrive at the pier to find a school of silver sides. The surface acts like a mirror. The silver sides appear like shimmering diamonds as they dart across. The ones at the surface appear like they are part of the mirrored surface. Now we did save Rex. Let's swim south to see the tugboat, New York. The New York lies at the bottom of the sand slide at the south end of the Tui Hotel. The wreck sits at 28 meters. Approaching the bow with our new lights is like seeing the wreck for the first time. A long snout butterfly fish. Two yellow and one spotted goatfish lead the way. Barred soldierfish under this purple sponge. A schoolmaster. This large lionfish has not seen a hunter. Sergeant Majors protect their purple eggs. I have a vivid memory of when a huge green moray shot out of that round hole and ripped the lionfish off my spear. It's all yours, Mr. Eel. The smokestack is just above the wreck on the slope. It's home to a young queen angelfish. Our last dive takes us to the Tolo dive site where we will swim to Bloodlet and see bogus in action and that scrawled filefish. The Tolo dive site is a favorite of ours. The reef is amazing and it almost always delivers surprises. There is nothing like a school of bogus to add energy to your dive. Their bodies reflect the surroundings, appearing like moving neon lights. 
you typically find them on walls and out in the blue. However, seeing a big school like this is special. Local charter fishermen will often get up early in the morning to catch them to be used as trolling bait for wahoo and tuna. These smallmouth brunt are amazing under the lights. And even more beautiful under the blue sky above. Coral adorns the steep drop-off on the way to Bloodland. I love honeycomb cowfish. A boulder star coral. A large scattered poor rope sponge. We have reached Bloodlip. A very pregnant scrawled filefish. She heads off for the coral head and swims through the hole and past this spotted trunk fish. She suddenly changes color to blend into the background. Her color switches back and she leaves. Time to head back to Tolo. A spot fin butterfly fish. What a dive. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.